in this box, we have the coolest, most interesting, most fun looking product that I have ever been sent by a company for review. Let's go ahead and take a look. No overhead cam today, a little bit pressed for time. So just seeing what is in the box right here. Go ahead and start taking this out. All right, so what we have here is the BlazePod training system. So what we have here, we'll go ahead and crack open the main box so that you can get an idea of what we're working with. Not gonna throw these boxes. These boxes are actually incredibly nice. This is, everything about this is just amazing to me. The, the, this box even, it has that nice like soft touch finish to it. So even the attention to detail, that little slight separation with the color, everything about this so far, I'm just incredibly excited about. So we're gonna gently set that to the side there. We'll open up the main uh, component here. And so what we have here is these little pods. So this is the, the basis of what we're looking at here. And so there are a lot of different things that we can do with these. This is basically an agility slash cardio type of training system. And what you do is you have these little pods here and they all light up different colors. There's a bunch of different modes that you can do, a bunch of different things that you can do this. But essentially at the core of this, you'll have these pods set in different places and you can do your cardio or agility exercises. So one will light up, you can run over there, tap the color, you know, run over, do another one. And, and you're basically tapping these different colors as they light up. And there's a lot, a lot of versatility with what you can do with these. Um, and we'll kind of get into that in the second half of the video. The main thing is just kind of giving a general overview right now and unboxing the things that we have here. So I'm very, very excited to see what all we can do with these. And I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what is in all of these boxes. So we'll find out together. <laughs> Man down. So I do know what is in these actually. So these are little adapter kits so that you can place these in different places. So as it comes standard, you basically just place these on the ground, you know, in your gym or, you know, out in the grass or wherever you're going to be doing your agility or cardio type exercises. But you can purchase these little adapter packs so that you can attach them to different things. So there are straps to where you can strap them vertically. Like if you wanted to strap them to like a power rack or some type of post, like a field goal post, or a soccer goal post if you wanted to place them at different points on a uh, soccer goal, which as a quick side note gives me an interesting idea for those soccer players out there. You can attach these all around the, uh, the post of a soccer goal and you can try to kick the ball and try to hit the targets. So that would be an interesting idea as well. So all of these, um, this is all the same thing that is six adapter packs. So we're gonna slide those to the side for now. And additionally with the adapter packs, you get these little suction cups so you can stick these to like a smooth wall or like a smooth surface and they won't move around something like that. Another thing that's pretty cool is they charge just by stacking them up. So you'll see the little charging contacts on the bottom and little charging contacts on the top. So you just stack those up, stack it up, boom, boom, boom. You get the little base. There's a little charging port right there. You plug that into the wall, take all these pods, put them on top of the base. Nice, easy to store, nice, easy to charge all at once. So that's kind of the main thing for the first part of the video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna, I haven't exactly figured out how I want to use these quite yet. I'm gonna come up with some interesting exercises and then we'll come back in the second half of the video and we'll try out all of the different, just crazy amount of things that you can do with this set. But before we get into the video, hi, my name is Ryan Treadaway, founder of TreadawayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics every Sunday, consider subscribing. We're about to test this thing out for the first time. And for the first time in one of these review videos, I'm actually not gonna show the setup process because it's genuinely that simple. You're not gonna need my help with it. 
So what we're gonna do, um, I have my brother over here, he's off camera, and we're about to try out one of these together for the first time. So we'll see how intuitive this app is. So we'll go to the search right here. We're going to see here, there's a search field for how many players you can use. So we're gonna do two players. And we'll, we'll narrow it to athletics. Maybe that'll be some like agility type stuff. What is speed competition? This one looks fun. Reaction time, competition, and agility. So there's tags for each of these exercises. And the game is pretty simple. It just lights up. You hop up and run over, tap yours, see who gets there fastest. And there's five rounds to it. So it's just gonna be best out of five to see who is the fastest. So it has a bunch of details here. So two pods per station. So that'd be one pod for each person. All right, so first to hit competition. So the activity rules, hit the light. One station, one cycle. So if you wanna have more than one of these stations going at the same time, so if you wanted to have like four people going, so two different competitions at the same time, or you know three different competitions at the same time, you can actually increase the number of stations with this. Number of cycles is just gonna be the number of times that it repeats the activity. So if you wanna do you know, best out of 10 versus instead of best out of five, um, you could do one more cycle. So we are going to hit go and we're gonna see how this works. All right, I'm blue and you're orange. So sit in the middle. It's gonna be a very short distance run. It's gonna be good. This is mainly just a test. This is more of a technical test. All right. Uh, three. All right. This is more about diving than running. <laughs> Rex, good job, buddy. You're cheating for me. You're cheating for me. No, you're cheating against me. No, I still won. I was watching you. <laughs> Just watching the dog. Come on, buddy. Oh. Ah. Rex, this is part of the challenge. <laughs> oh. Lesson number one, dog, and this game doesn't work very well. But it gives you some analytic information. So it gives you your average reaction time, gives you your reaction time per round, tells you how many miss hits you have. Did you beat me two times out of five? I think so. But anyway, it's really fun, and I'll, I'll, I'll have to figure out a little bit about the analytic information, but it tells you who won, looks like it puts the winner first, gives you all of this analytic information. That way you can kind of track it over time to see you know, if you're getting faster and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and find a different game, one that's a little bit better suited for this uh, small space, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so here's one that'll be a little bit more well suited for the limited space that we have indoors. We'll take this outside and we'll, we'll see uh, a little bit more about it on another day. But what we'll do is we'll go to this plank competition one. So we have four of the pods lined up in the middle. When the pods light up, each player should move right and left in a plank position to the pod in their color and tap, maintaining plank position at all times. But be quick, there are only two seconds until the light goes out and moves on to the next pod. All right, so basically we're gonna see that it's a reaction time thing, so you have two seconds to hit your pod, and then we're gonna see who gets the most hits in the amount of time. Start now. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a bad hit. <laughs> this is freaking fun. Oh, oh. Ah. Just do it here. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had 36 hits and you had 48 hits. You beat me by a lot. I was cranking it up halfway through. We're gonna do this one again. We're gonna put them further apart and make it harder. Now. Oh, 
Now that is the pump I had to get some cardio in. 38 hits, 47 hits. You beat me again. I was a little bit close that time. All right, well you already beat me two out of three. Let's, let's do a different one. All right, so one more. This one's another one that was would be better with a little bit more space, but we're gonna do with what we have right now so as to not take these outside at the moment. So this one is a reaction time. You gotta be able to be paying attention and see where your color's at. They're all in a big circle behind me right there. So you gotta find your color, hit your color, and then it's gonna be another case of who can hit the most in the time limit, it seems like. Another lesson that we've learned today. I <laughs> do powerlifting stuff. I do weightlifting stuff. I don't do athletics and cardio stuff anymore. The basketball days are long behind. The first solo exercise we're gonna try is a shuttle challenge. And so the way a shuttle challenge works is you'll have four of these pods lined up right there in a line. And you're supposed to have them further apart than I have them. Um, if you have the space available, the, the exercise is actually designed for them to be 15 feet apart. But we're working with what we have to work with. Basically, the way this one works is you start at the far end, and then you go to number two, back to number one. You go to number three, back to number one. Then you go to four, and then that's the end of it. All right, so we have one station, one cycle. Let's give this a try. Set. that one pretty basic one that's one that you can do for a lot of sports or just for some general high intensity cardio let's see what else we can find right, let's do one more solo one and then we will do some outdoor ones if possible so reaction time and decision making so this one requires five pods looks like one two three four five and then there will be they'll be lighting up at different colors so it might throw you off if you're colorblind you're gonna go do this one but it's gonna be lighting up different colors so there's gonna be different ones lighting up and it's going to be trying to throw you off. So you have to run to the right one and hit it. Three, set, I think. Nope. Back it up, boy. Extra distraction. With the extra distraction of Rex trying to mix me up, I got four missed hits. So there's four times where I failed to hit it before it uh, switched over to the next color. Got 12 hits in the time, one of three strikeout. I assume that means I hit the distraction color once. And if I would have hit it three times, seems like the game would have just ended right there. So there's one game in particular that I want to play and I didn't see it in the pre-made options. And if you've ever been to Dave & Buster's, there's a little light wall that has a little bunch of buttons on it. It's a two player game. You go at the same time, you go for a minute and it's a reflex tester to see basically who can hit the most buttons on the wall um, as they light up and see who can hit the most in a minute. And I really enjoy that game there. There's not anything similar to this. So what I want to try to create, and I've not created one yet, so I don't know how easy this is, but I want to create one where I have um, my six pods and I'm gonna put three on this upright of the squat rack, 
three on this right upright of the squat rack. Have it to where we go one at a time, so we each get to have all six of them. See how many we can hit in a minute, and then see who can get the most in that minute. So it'll be a competitive game, but one where you have to take turns. Uh, and again, I've not created one yet, so we'll see how easy this process is. So let's hit create activity. All right, this is your place to create and customize drills to suit your specific needs. There's a video for it which I will watch. Okay, so after watching the video, it seems pretty simple. We'll see how easy it is in practice. So let's hit, I wanna do one that's random uh, for this particular drill that we're working on. This is a pure reflex drill. All right, next one will be select randomly. Perfect, create. So number of stations, or excuse me, number of pods, all six. Number of stations, one. So we'll just need to figure out how to make it to where you, you take turns seeing who hits the most. All right, so one, one station with all six pods, one player, next. All right, so one color per player lights out. Decide how the pods lights will go out by tapping it. So the light goes off on a hit, that's what I want. No light delay time. So as soon as one goes off, I want the next one to come on. Next. So I want the activity duration, we're gonna do 30 seconds all right save we're gonna call this reflex wall all right so save activity and this is also when we're gonna break out the first of the accessories i received as well so you can attach it to the uprights based on some attachments that you can get in the functional uh, adapter pack is what it's called so i will show you how to hook those up and then we'll get into this new game we have our functional adapter packs right here Let's grab one of the pods. And so what we can do, we can pop this little pack out right here. What we want is these little straps right here. So we will take one of the straps, one of the little clips here. We will take the little rubber band off of that. We need to run the strap through this, and then we'll need to run it back through. So now we have it like this. And then we will snap it on the pod like so. And then all you have to do is strap it to your upright. This is my first attempt at making a game, first run on this game. So we'll, we'll see how this actually works out. So I got 49 hits in 30 seconds, and I, I, I am happy with how this turned out. This is basically what I want it to turn out to be. The one thing that I will say about this is because these particular uprights are pretty far apart, you know, they're about probably over two times shoulder width apart, so none of the lights are actually directly in front of your face when you're doing it. So when you're this close to the pads or the, the pods, you're, you're hitting all of them out of the peripheral vision. And I would say that this is as much a peripheral vision test as it is an actual reflex test. This exercise is pretty simple. This is one of my favorite uh, agility exercises that we did in high school. You only actually need four pods for this exercise, but you are gonna need like a cone or just something that you can sit on the ground as kind of a marker for the midpoint because you won't actually have to touch the midpoint each time and we're using the cone adapter so we're testing those out with this exercise as well the cone adapters are actually intended to go on like some full size cones like you would use in basketball and things like that rather than these tiny little safety cones or agility cones so i'm not sure how well these are actually gonna stay up you can just put the blaze pods flat on the ground and they're designed to be able to do that but if I would have planned this video a little bit better, I would have cut the grass first, um, which is why we do have them on top of the cones because it's a little bit hard to see the pods uh, just flat on the ground when the grass wasn't cut. We're gonna take a slow run through this one simply because we're losing sunlight pretty quickly. I didn't have time to warm up and it is freezing out here. So I'm just gonna give 
uh, a slower run through just to show you how this drill would work, give you an idea of some things that you can do with it outside. <gasps> So I did successfully manage to knock one of them off the cone on that run. So when you're doing those turns and you're having to turn around the cones, it's a little bit easier to not knock them off because you're coming to a stop. But on that last cone, you're running through. So the momentum is hard to hit straight down on it. You kind of slap it and knock it over. And a few quick tech specs that I forgot to mention in the first half of the video, these charge over micro USB. They have about an eight hour battery life. So they're pretty much gonna last you for a full day of training. And then uh, the range on these is 40 meters, which is about 130 feet. And the number of pods that you can have connected at one time to one device is gonna vary from device manufacturer to device manufacturer. But on average, they say that you can have 12 of these connected uh, to one device. And then as you know, Bluetooth standards get better, uh, you'll be able to connect more and more as you go into the future. And if you are the type of person where you're wanting to use these to train with a team and you wanna have several stations going at once, but maybe you don't have the budget to afford six or eight or 12 of these, maybe you can only get the base pack, maybe you can only get four, there are some workarounds that you can do. For example, with that exercise that I was showing you, that star drill outside, you really only need one pod to do that exercise as long as you have some cones. So if you can set up five cones, you can do that drill like I was showing you and then just have the one pod on the last cone for when you run back through at the end so you can hit that, that one pod to make it stop. And then if you have the four pod set, then you could have four different people running that exercise at the same time you can have four different stations going at the same time with just four pods so there are some creative workarounds if you would like to get into the blaze pod system but are on a more limited budget and another thing that you might be wondering about is the accuracy of these because after all the system can be good in theory but if it doesn't register hits then it doesn't really matter and in my testing we probably had about close to a thousand hits uh, now that I think about it and I noticed probably six or seven mishaps so that'd be over 99% on the accuracy of registering the tap so I would say that that's pretty darn good and then of course the elephant in the room for any review how much do these cost and would I recommend you to purchase them and the price will vary greatly because they have several different kit options available starting from the base kit or the standard kit as they call it which comes with four pods and then the case to hold them and the charging base of course and that kit starts at $299 and then if you go up to the trainer kit which is what I have that is the six pod set plus the base and the case that is $399 and then it can range all the way up to the professional bundle which is going to come with everything. It's going to come with uh, 12 of the pods. It's going to come with two charging bases to accommodate the 12 pods. It will come with a case to accommodate all of those and then all of the adapters. So it'll have the straps, it'll have the cone adapters, all of that kind of stuff. So anything that you could ever need if you are maybe a high level coach and you're training a bunch of people at once and you're, you're training a large team and that kit is $999. Now the question in my mind is not would I recommend these? Because there's no doubt this is an excellent tool. This is an excellent tool for sports and I could see having those analytics available and being able to track things very precisely, how that could be extremely beneficial for high level athletes. And then even down to just, you know, the personal trainer who's wanting to use these to kind of give some fun cardio to, the, to their clients in anywhere in between, this is definitely an extremely valuable tool to have at your disposal. So the question to me isn't, would I recommend this? But the actual question I think in this case is who I would recommend this 
for. And in my opinion, the people who would benefit most from this are gonna be your personal trainers, your coaches, and any kind of high level athlete who wants to track their training and kind of milliseconds matter to them. And that's kind of the three main categories of people who I think would benefit from this. And then of course, if you are just an individual who maybe doesn't enjoy cardio that much and you want something like this to spice up your cardio, make it a little bit more enjoyable, or you have friends that you can just play this like a game to get that cardio in and you don't mind shelling out the premium price tag for a premium product, I would recommend this to you as well. And the kind folks at BlazePod have hooked me up with a special link. If you purchase from my link down in the description, it will save you 15% off of your purchase. And when you're talking about a premium product like this, 15%, that's gonna save you a good chunk of change and is gonna help out the channel in the process. If you have any questions on these, definitely leave those questions down below and I will get to those questions as soon as I can. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you hate it, give a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing or you can check out one of the videos that will be up on the screen. You can also check us out in the private Facebook group, Skinny to Jack Society, which will be linked below. As always, God bless you and your family and we'll see you next week. They sent me six pods. They said they were only sending four. Tracy, I was talking to you, not the camera.